the Joe Rogan experience. I go to these TED conferences every year, and I was so treated, lighter. I feel like I was treated like a leper, you know, when I went to TED, you know, and, and the organizers of TED were so afraid I was going to talk about psychedelic mushrooms. How many years ago was this? The 2008 when I first went. My what's first, it like now though? That's right. This last time, I mean, I was treated like a super celebrity. I had, <laughs> I had these hugely, hugely powerful people, some of the names you probably know, who came up to me and would shake my shoulders going, now I understand. Now yeah. I understand. And yeah. I, was like, I had to say, down boy, you know, yeah. <laughs> keep down. And they, they, but they, they woke into something and their, their mates, their friends, their business associates – you know, there seems the common theme is, wow, he was such a jerk before, and he's so nice now. Yeah, and they, they're seeking cooperation, and they still are productive. They still are creative. Mm. They're banging it out. The coders in in Silicon Valley know that microdosing helps their coding ability, so it's a competitive advantage to those other computer companies that do not. Mm. You know, I I think any any new business populated in particular by young people who are not doing microdosing are going to be at a competitive disadvantage mm. because the creativity flow, the camaraderie of the community, seeking to benefit the commons and also reward yourself. I'm not saying it's, it's all you know, just, just helping, helping the commons, but the idea of being able to reward yourself and people rejoice in your success and they benefit from it as well, it really integrates people together. Yeah, and it's also – People need to understand that there's a lot of this squirreling away resources and money and things and, and trying to climb that corporate ladder. This is a finite life. It doesn't last that long. It's a trick. You get sucked into this trick, and this trick is what every CEO and every head of every corporation, every chief financial officer, all these people that are just trying to like improve the bottom line, rake in more money – keep this company growing and keep kicking ass. It's a trick. You're sucked up in a trick. There's a natural human tendency to accumulate numbers for whatever reason, go back to our early days when resources were scarce. And if you get sucked into that trick, one day you're going to wake up and that that's going to be usually be too late. You usually it's on your deathbed. Usually it's close to it. You're like, what did I do? This is it. My health is failing. My life's falling apart. And what has my, my life been? It's been 10, 12, 14 hours a day in these stuffed offices under fluorescent lights, crunching numbers and trying to acquire things. And, and for what? Like what? What impact have I made on humans? What? What? What is the negative impact of my ambition on the people that are around me? Like all of this is like the one thing that psilocybin and particularly just psychedelics in general can provide is a break from patterns, a stopping, a, a ceasefire of all the momentum of our culture, civilization, finances, taxes, credit card debt, all that shit just stops. And you get a chance to step back and look at the machine, watch it all whirl and spin in front of you. And you get to say, oh, I got sucked into the trick. I'm sucked into a trick. 